two ranked teams to begin our season. And here we go. Royalty with our first pitch underway. It's in for a strike. It's full here. 3 2. And a caught strike on the outside corner. That ends the inning. So Royalty goes 1 2 3. Pull and opposite. Full count here. And ball four. Back above the circle, towards second, a step and a fire to first. It's there for the other play. So Oklahoma State, an early walk, a double play to get out of it here. We are going to the top of the second. Are we going to see a changeup right here? Okay. It's just the rule of softball. You hit a towering fly ball like that, 99 out of 100, you're going to get a changeup. Full count, 3-2. In for a strike. So the second of the night for Allison Royalty. Inside. Now two on here, one out. Swing and a miss, and she got out of it. Two strikeouts in the inning for Allison Royalty. As she's hit with the pitch here. So down to first base. But there's a lot of players that are going to have to step up and fill that offensive void. Well, here we go. Now to right field, a single. Two on, nobody out. Acuna is one of those players. Just worked her way into the conversation for player of the year. Swing and a miss. And there's her first strikeout. And there's a called strike. So after a leadoff, single and a hit batsman, Maxwell recovers to retire three straight. Number nine hitter for Oklahoma State. It's one down right in front of home. Royalty on top of that, but no play. So a bunch single to start off the top of the third. And a swing, this one in the left center. They'll hold at third, Alexander on the single. The back to back base runners here, back to back hits. Just manufacturing some offense. Another bunt attempt down the first baseline. The run comes in. That's the first of the contest. Oklahoma State on top early. I mean, we talked about the defense in the bunt for Arizona State. And so for Oklahoma State, if it worked one time, it can absolutely work again. And they go right back down the first baseline. How about for a team that hits as much home run ball as they do, I'm gonna call it opportunistic small ball. When it's there, they're gonna take it. Just really solid softball. The pitching's too elite, you gotta make it happen. Busby golfs this one down, the left field line is gone! A three run <laughs> home run! And Oklahoma State is on top 4-0. So as soon as we talk about the small ball, of course, Julia Cottrell says, wait, wait, wait. I was so close to a home run in my last at bat. I'm not going to miss my next opportunity. And she sneaks that one in there. Her first home run of the season. That did not take long. Same pitch that she turned on in her last at bat, but was a little bit more foul. I mean, Definitely high. Boy, this is so close. So close. Harper almost had a play on this. She's running it down. I mean, she's a foot away from Robin, a home run. Scorecard is busy. Towards short. Torres across the diamond. Oh, not enough. Sanders came off the bag and tried for the tag. And Coach Ford's coming out here. Miranda Ellis in the dugout, and Morgan Day, two big-time pitchers. They confirm a strike here on win. And in for a strike. That'll do it. So, four runs for Oklahoma State. And she draws the walk, four pitches. And Lewis down to first base. Our umpires have been on everyone. And a strike on the outside corner. 
So Hill goes down looking best in program history for seven. Ground ball toward short. Throws on to first, and that'll do it here for the third. Just again, just to, to be able to rotate that and show off. Another one back toward the circle. Toward first, three in a row. Lindsey Lopez. Try to sit behind home plate or something. I will just never forget that. Called third strike outside corner. And it's helped move this program forward. Fly ball deep, center field, and this one is gone. Second of the night for Oklahoma State. Five nothing Cowgirls as Factor goes deep. Big smiles for the senior. This ball was crushed. You can see where this pitch is located. It's a backdoor curve. And this is what I was talking about earlier. As a right-handed hitter, if you're going to get a backdoor curve from a lefty, you've got to see it deep and hit it almost off of your back hip or around your belly button. And that's what it looks like right there. That's textbook. Just seeing it deep, putting a beautiful swing on it. So her first look at the lefty. So she did go around here. You've got to have a certain personality about you because you know that you're going to get pitches. And a swing and a miss. The contra goes down. Inside too far. Petty will go down to first. Yeah, between the first two games of the season, ground ball here towards second. And a great recovery to end the inning. The home run from Fector adds on for Oklahoma State. Just an opportunity to get someone else some innings is so vital. But again, <laughs> when you're throwing the way Maxwell is, it'd be very hard to take her out. Waiting your turn. And a called third strike here is number six for Maxwell. And a called third strike on the outside corner. Maxwell strikes out the side. She's got seven. Through the first five innings, we're ahead of the top of the sixth. Maxwell, four in a row, and it's a five-nothing lead. Maybe he's just scouting. I don't know. And there's a call, third strike. So one, two, three here in the sixth. Arizona State coming to bat. And here is a four-pitch rock. What, what's going on here? Oh my goodness, he's trying to take over. Ball towards shorts. And ASU's got a pair on here in the bottom of the sixth. So that's the second hit of the game. That one off the glove here. And a chance for ASU. Into right field. Torres will drive in the first of the contest for the Sun Devils. Really hard hit up the middle. And you see Ellis, she got a glove on it, so I think Loomis scores no matter what. Strike here and down to second base. There's a first out of the inning. There's a little bit of a miscue here, base running wise, for Arizona State. I think the pinch runner, Savannah Price, thought it was ball four. Yep. A little rusty all the way around. Now toward right center. It's going to fall. So an RBI single for Sydney Sanders. And she continues her incredible start to her college career. Driving in the second of the night for ASU. Factor out in center. Thought she might have a beat on this, but was playing pretty deep. Not a great hit, does get jammed up a little bit, able to find some grass out in right center, and Hill was thinking about tagging up. Deep fly ball here, left field. Out toward the warning track and caught. And the official score says illegal pitch was the call. Up high, ball 
four. So Acuna given new life after the illegal pitch. Instead of a fly ball out, now there are two on and one away for McKenna Harper. Ah, swing and a miss. Huge out for Ellish. After all of that, they're now two away. And a called third strike. So after two runs come in, Ellish gets back-to-back -back strikeouts. Out towards second, and that'll do it. So it's a one, two, three inning here in the seventh. ASU coming right back here. One more shot coming up. Swing and a miss here. And the first strikeout for Day. And now Morgan Day. Fly ball left field. And Petty will make the grab. And a called third strike will do it. So 5 2 is the final. Oklahoma State wins their opener after ASU notched their first win of the season. 5-2 is the final in favor of the number five team in the nation.